This week we're in Sheridan, Wyoming. Yes. This is going to be a lot different of a video than you have ever seen from us before. <laughs> yeah. Because we're here for one purpose, and that's for the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association National Meeting and Rally. Yeah. Very cool. We haven't had a chance to do this yet since we've been on the road full time yeah. because they had one right before we left to go full time. Mm -hmm. And then the one last year was in Jacksonville, Florida, that it got canceled because of the Rona. Yeah. So this is the first one back open. Yeah. So we knew when we left Florida, we were headed to Sheridan, Wyoming because this was the purpose of that trip. Yeah. Now, I can't ride anymore because of medical issues, but we've been in the CVMA for about seven years and rode for several years and now I have nerve damage, so I can't ride, but we're life members. Yep. And we still have lots of friends. Yep. Brothers and sisters in the CVMA, so we try to go to as much stuff as we can. It's the second family. Yeah, so if you've never been to a motorcycle rally or don't know anything about the CVMA, stick around because we're going to show you some cool stuff that goes on during CVMA Nationals. And, and everybody's purpose here is for Vets Helping Vets. Exactly. Vets Helping Vets is the mission. And um, all of these chapters, there's chapters everywhere. If people from Germany are here, Alaska's here, yeah. Hawaii's here. Everywhere. Uh, every state has at least a one chapter. And we even have some overseas chapters. Mm -hmm. And most of the chapters are 501c3. They're nonprofits, yep. and they're doing great things in their community, giving back to veterans. Yep. And that's kind of what motivated us to do it too, because yeah. we were so involved with the veteran community where we were yeah. and riding and donating, and we didn't get a chance to do that once we hit the road. Yeah. So what we do is now, as you've seen, is once every three months, we collect some of our earnings from YouTube and social media, mm -hmm. and we give it away to local veteran organizations. These guys are doing that all over the country. Yep. So we're just a little part of that, but we're so proud and happy to be CVMA members. Even if we can't ride anymore, it's just a great brotherhood. Yes. All of these people are combat veterans, yep. or the spouse of a combat veteran, or have served and are support members of the CVMA. Yep. So at a minimum, the majority of the people that you'll see out here our service members and combat veterans. So very cool. We're gonna take you along this week and show you all the cool stuff that goes on at CVMA Nationals. That's right. Ha! Now we're at the Sheridan County Fairgrounds where they are about to do the motorcycle rodeo yeah. or biker games. Like, yeah. Yeah, so there's a, there's a, lots of cool events that are about to take place and uh, they're always fun to watch. Yes. Um, the first one was the board balance. They try to drive across like a line of, of two by fours. Yeah. And you try to keep your tires on the board. The person who goes long without falling off the board wins Wins's, that event. Yeah. And um, one of my favorites is the wiener grab. Yeah. <laughs> Not like you're thinking. <laughs> that's your favorite? Huh? Yeah, I like that's, the wiener you grab. Like, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> so that's where you got the rider, and then you got the passenger on the back. And then the passenger, uh, well, there's a, there's a wiener. Dangling. Dangling from a rope. Yeah. <laughs> and the passenger has to try to grab the wiener. As they go With under. their mouth only. <laughs> as they're going under. Yeah. So the, the rider has to keep it at a good pace. Fast enough not to fall over, but slow enough the passenger can grab the wiener yeah. with their mouth without falling off. Yeah. Now, I may or may not have been a participant in this event at one point as the passenger, as the wiener grabber. I can vouch you have <laughs> been the passenger of the wiener grabber. <laughs> that was a long time ago. But that, was a, that was a lot of fun. But that's always fun to watch. Yes. And then um, the same bar that they hang the, the wiener from, the next event they do uh, a water balloon Blue toss. toss. Yeah. So then the passenger has to throw the balloon over the bar, 
on one side and catch it they drive through. through yeah and catch it on the other side without dropping the balloon or yeah. breaking the balloon all over themselves or the or driver, the driver. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun to watch yeah. too and then they do the uh the keg race keg barrel race keg yeah. barrel race and this is where they line up the motorcycles and you put a keg empty in front kegs. empty <laughs> kegs yeah and you have to push the keg to the uh, you know to line. the finish line with first. your front tire huh? yeah with your front tire <laughs> the stands are full of combat veterans to cheer these guys on yeah and we're looking forward to this yeah. it's always one of our favorite things absolutely yeah all right let's do it all right Well, uh, during the day, it's like meetings and some rides. They do like an honor ride and uh, poker run and different things. The, the national store is open so you can buy your CVMA apparel. swag and apparel. Yeah. So uh, lots of stuff going on during the day and just a lot of hanging out and food vendors and Harley Davidson's out there doing test rides and all kinds of cool stuff going yeah. on at the host hotel during the day. Mm -hmm. But when all that's all over, this is how we roll. little town man it is everybody's so friendly super friendly like it's almost to the point where it freaks you out a little bit yes when you're not used to people being so everybody friendly, is so nice you don't know and, how to embrace it yeah and the downtown little area is so just like small very town quaint. feel yeah. yeah very cool and one of the other coolest things is along the the road the main strip down here on main street are these banners everywhere yes. honoring fallen heroes yeah which is awesome and it's not like they threw them up just for us yeah you can tell these have been here for a while yeah. this is like the standard in sheridan it's yeah. not just just because the combat vets are in town <laughs> uh they are very patriotic yeah. almost everybody in town has signs on their doors saying welcome, welcome combat, combat vets. vets we support you support you yeah. discounts Discount, yeah all kinds of cool stuff yeah. so Sheridan has been very welcoming yeah. to the combat event. So thank you, Sheridan, Wyoming. <laughs> awesome little town. We are loving it. We will be back. Yes. <laughs> Saturday morning of uh, nationals. 
Saturday morning is always the roughest. Yeah. Well, Saturday is the meeting. Yeah. The national meeting. And uh, they have separate meetings, so mm -hmm. the full members will have our meeting, and the Ox, you'll have your meeting. And yeah. uh, this year it's in two different locations. Yes. Uh, generally, it's at the host hotel, but this year it's at different locations and different times. Ours generally runs a little longer, so Leslie's going to take and drop me off first. Ours yeah. start at 9, yours starts at 10. But it's the purpose of the whole thing. Yes. It's the reason why we're here. The meeting is the reason. Yeah. And, you know, the meeting can, can last anywhere from an hour up to, I think, in Kansas City, it was like, like six hours. Six hours. <laughs> it was a long meeting. But it just depends on how much business there is. Because um, we'll talk about new business and old business, and we'll talk about, um, uh, we'll honor those who who are members who we've lost over the past year. We'll do yep. a ceremony for them. Um, we'll do elections for those positions that are up for re-election. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, it just kind of all depends on, you know, we'll talk about bylaw change proposals yeah. and stuff. And it just kind of all depends on how much um, how long, con how conversation. How somebody wants to drag it out. <laughs> depends on how much conversation has to go back and forth before an issue gets resolved or whatever. But anyway, yeah. um, the national meeting is, is the purpose for it. But I think it's really cool because it's the only place at nationals where you'll see everybody at one, one spot. One spot, yes. Yeah, because normally everybody's spread out. I mean, Throughout even, the events and yeah. things that are going on and bike nights and all this stuff. Yeah, everybody's kind of doing their own thing and eating dinner at their own spots and kind of, you know, meeting new people and hanging out and stuff. Yeah. But this is cool because everybody's all in one space. So thousands of members in one spot. It's always cool to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what's not cool? What's that? Waking up to an alarm. That's yeah. not cool. We're not used to this. So we're, we're brewing our coffee now. We're going to take it off to a meeting uh. because, you know, my meeting starts at 9. I'm using that even up, up at 9. <laughs> so it's a little rough. Plus, uh. you know, we were up and drank like, a little bit last night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said we weren't going to be out past midnight. We were out past midnight. Barely. Barely. Mm. Anyway, going to the meeting. Yay. Taking our coffee. <laughs> Here we go. nationals this year yes it's uh it's fast and furious it's uh man it's four, exhausting yeah after <laughs> after it's all over you're like man i need a <laughs> vacation from this vacation <laughs> yeah but it's such a great time it was so good to see all of our brothers and sisters from all over the place yeah. that we've that we've met along the way all kind of come into one place and yeah. you get to see them all in one spot met, met met a ton of new people yeah so we're looking forward to, yeah. to seeing them again in the future yeah and wyoming uh did a great job they did putting together a national event and um uh, yeah i know it's challenging because they don't have a lot of people in their chapters in wyoming just because yeah. they don't have a lot of people in wyoming mm -hmm. yeah so it was a lot of work for them <laughs> it was a lot their, of work. Their, their size of chapter a lot of work for them to put on a national event so it was it was a great impressive. job yeah. very good and um so you see all everything that we did here at cvma nationals but we did a little bit of exploring too yeah. we, we rode through the uh the national forest up here through the mountains mm -hmm. and stuff we'll put some of that over on on our patreon page because it's just not enough to include into this video but yeah. but we had a great time met mm -hmm. a bunch of great people and um normally what we do at the end of all of our videos is we honor a fallen hero mm -hmm. um we're gonna do something a little bit different this time because over the past year between the last national event and this national event 89 members yeah of the cvma have that surprised uh, me this year have passed away um that's all inclusive that's full members um auxiliary members and support members yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to honor those uh cvma members who um who didn't make it through the year 
and so what we'll do is we'll scroll their names at the end of the video here we appreciate you watching um, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road everything you need to know is down in the description of this video and um, we'll see you in Louisville yeah <laughs> going to Tucky next year <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>